Hello guys, this is Trisha with another motivational moment. Today my topic is about live for today and not tomorrow. So many people live for tomorrow and you're not even sure you're going to be here tomorrow. Whatever you got pulled on for tomorrow, do it today. Stop worrying about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. We got to do what we got to do today. We don't know. God didn't say he wasn't coming back tomorrow. God didn't say he wasn't coming back today. So what you got planned to do tomorrow, do it today. So many people live for tomorrow like they know it's tomorrow. You're not sure it's going to be a tomorrow. So why live for tomorrow? Live for today. You know, I never thought about tomorrow because you know what? I know tomorrow is not promised. We should know tomorrow is not promised. So much stuff is going on right now around the world and you see what's going on. The end of the world is almost near. We should know that. So we got to live today like it's our last day. Do whatever you want to do. Do it now. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. If it ever come, we're not sure it's going to be a tomorrow, but so many people will live their life for tomorrow. Do not do that. If you do that, don't do that. That's just the wrong way to live. You better live your life like it's your last day, like you know Jesus is coming back. We don't know the day, the time, the hour, the moment that Jesus is coming back, but we want to be prepared, right? So live your today, life today like it's your last day. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Yesterday is gone. And tomorrow haven't got here. So many people say what they can do tomorrow, what they're going to do tomorrow. And you're not even sure you're going to be here tomorrow. Stop saying stuff about tomorrow. Tomorrow's not even here. What you need to be living for is this moment, this hour, this second. That's what we need to be living for. Let tomorrow take care of itself. So many, put, so many people put so much stuff off tomorrow. And half of them not here anymore. So what you got to do today, just do it. And let tomorrow take care of itself. I don't worry about tomorrow. I used to. I used to worry about everything. My, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I don't say that anymore. Because it's truly not promised. Life is precious, we know, right? So we got to live our day like it's our last day. So many people are dying. So many people are wishing they were still here. But they're not. God knocked on their door and said, hey, you know what? It's time to go home. So why are you living and believing? and loving one another like you're supposed to do. Live today like it's your last day. Don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow take care of itself. I used to be the same type of person, worrying about what tomorrow brings. We don't know what tomorrow brings. We don't. We don't even know if it's going to be a tomorrow. That's the bad part about a thing, because you don't even know if it's going to be a tomorrow. But so many people always living for tomorrow, and you're not even sure it's going to be one. So take the time out and live for today. Let tomorrow take, take care of itself. Take the time out and love one another while you can, because tomorrow might be too late. Take the time out to appreciate one another, because tomorrow might be too late. Take the time and give a person a great smile, because tomorrow might be too late. Take the time out to love one another, because tomorrow might be too late. We don't think that way, but you know what? We need to start thinking that way. Stop living your life like you know it's just tomorrow because we're not sure. Nobody's not sure. So since we're not sure, we got to live it like it's our last, last day, like you know God is coming back today. How I know if he's not? I don't know. You don't know if he's coming back or not. You don't know if he's coming back today or tomorrow or the next day. The way the world is coming right, going right now, I don't know about next year or the next season. So much stuff is going on, so much hate in the world, so much competing in the world, so much of craziness in the world. And you're going to tell me we're not living in our last days, people. You better wake up and smell the coffee while you came in, while you still breathing, while you still believing, because tomorrow might be too late. So what you got planned to do tomorrow, try to do it today. If you can't, always say, if God's willing, I will do that tomorrow. Don't just say you're going to do something tomorrow because you're not sure you're going to be here tomorrow. So whatever you got planned to do that you can do today, do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow may not never come. It may not never come. So what I do now, since I've been a Christian, I live today like it's my last day. 
like I know Jesus is coming back today. That's what we all should think. Like Jesus is coming back today. We don't know the time, the moment, the day, or the hour. Jesus didn't tell us that. But you see the way the world is going already. You don't know the day from night. You don't know the winter from summer. Everybody killing. Everybody stealing. Everybody doing everything that the Bible say you shouldn't do. But we're doing it. We're doing it. And God said, when you do all this stuff that was in the Bible, that he's coming back soon. He's coming back. So we got to stay prayed up, people. We got to learn to love a little bit more than we used to. We got to get that hate out of our heart and focus on God. Get a relationship with God. Not only a relationship. Get a personal relationship with him. A sinner can have a relationship. A regular person that knows God can have a relationship. But God wants us to get a personal relationship. What a personal relationship means is meditating. Listening to what God is telling you. You never know what God is telling you if you don't get a personal relationship. Open the Bible up and read it. It tells you all about our last things. Get in the book of Revelations and look at it. And follow it. And go by it. Don't just read the Bible and don't follow it. There's a lot of people just read it, but they don't follow the Bible. You got to follow what the Word is saying. We got to follow the law in the Bible. If God gave us Ten Commandments, we need to start living by them. I'm not going to say I'm Miss Perfect. I fall and I get back up. I fall again and I get back up. I know God understands me. As long as he understands me that I fall and I get back up and I make mistakes, but I don't do them over and over again, the same mistakes. Don't practice the same mistake over and over again. God knows your heart. God knows your mistakes. And he knows when you're meaning it and when you're not. So when you make a mistake and you're sincere about your mistake, get back up again. It is not the end of the world yet. So why are you still living and believing in yourself? You better do what you can do today, not tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Life is short. We already know that, right? So many people are dropping like flies. It used to be all the older people. Now it's all the younger people. We got to stay prayed up. Bombing going on. People killing each other in malls. Everywhere. Every time I turn on the news, I hear somebody killing somebody. It breaks my heart. Life is too short. You better live today like it's your last day. Because tomorrow's not promised to nobody. To nobody. I don't care what you look like, what you smell like, what you sound like. God still say, when he come back, he coming back. And when God come back, he's coming back for the good. He coming back for the ones who's prayed up. The ones who love the Lord. The ones who love one another. The ones who repent their sins. That's who he's coming back for. He worried what you look like. What you talk like. What you walk like. He looking for great people. Loving people. With their soul right. If your soul ain't right, you will be left here. So get into a church and start going to church sometime. Start reading the Bible sometime. If you don't go to church, look at T.D. Jakes. Look at somebody. And start listening to them. Just do something with yourself. Don't just sit around and be on YouTube all day. Get up and do something while you got a chance. Why are you still breathing? Because tomorrow is not promised. I'm trying to tell you guys that. Let's say that one more time. Tomorrow is not promised. So live today like it's your last, last day. Like this is, you know this is your last day on earth. That's how I live my life. I don't go day by day no more. I don't go and say, you know what, you know what, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do that. I don't do that. If I got plans to do something tomorrow, I say if God's willing. And I'm going to always say that to the end of time because it is God's willing. I'm not sure. You're not sure. So stop acting like you're sure because you're not sure. We don't know if it's going to be the tomorrow. God never told you that in your ear. He didn't tell no one that. But God did promise us that he'll come back. But he'll come back for the good, the loyal, the loving, the kind, the humble people. God told us to humble ourselves. We need to start doing it. Make sure you love one another. Make sure you trust one another. 
be good to one another, respect one another. And guess what? Don't forget to smile and live today again like it's your last day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And you all have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.